Hello and welcome back. Uh, today I have a uh, voltage reference. It is a cheaper model than I uh, usually use. Uh, if you are a regular watcher of my channel, you see that I restore uh, old voltage meters also sometimes and I clean and I adjust them. And uh, I sort of uh, use, uh, well, it's not a real calibrator, but it is uh, close. And uh, then I use uh, this thing. And they are harder and harder to find with the calibration sticker. And uh, but I have one here, and I can put it in the link. But I, I think in the last versions that were sent, there was no calibration sticker. And I think these ones are between 15 and 20 euros, so maybe even 25 dollars sometimes. I found now a cheaper one, it's based on the same chip, although I think it is a lower quality but we can uh, see that later and that is this calibrator and it does the same also two and a half five volt seven and a half and ten volts and as an extra it has one percent resistors just four in there i will zoom in on it later it's 100 ohms 1k 10k and 100k and i bought this also because I know that these with the sticker are less and less available. And if you can see, these have values written down on them. So hopefully the values make sense. Okay, here we have a closer look. You can see they put the values that they measured. I don't know with what device because it doesn't say, but at least I. Uh, they put some values on it and I do remember from my uh, other voltage reference this one um, these were very precise and here you can see it's done with an Agilent uh, 34401 and uh, yeah so that but it was calibrated in 2018 but the values uh, yeah exactly match my uh, my Kidley 199 so that 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 is good and uh, well i found another difference that this voltage reference this is the the 584kh and this one i think is a, a little bit of a cheaper and that is the jh so this could be less precise well i will put it under the microscope too have a better look put the focus on the chip and this is indeed uh oh, maybe i can even zoom in a bit more yes this one is indeed the 584kh while this one yeah it's the j so let's find out what is the difference between them Well, first we to compare if the meter is warm to see if everything is okay. I'm having it on faults. We know this one is good. And uh, this should be 24897. So the last one is a fractional off, but it is indeed 4989. So 5 volts. Should be zero 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 one and it is zero 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 two. You see the last the fifth is yet. So that is good. And that is close enough. Now let's get the other one. Uh, it was supposed to come with the battery and it didn't, but there is a 12 volt uh, connection here, so I will be using that. Oh, it doesn't have a banana terminal, so you really need to put here the, the plugs. And you have a little jumper to adjust the voltage. So if I start at 2.5, I'll put it on the bottom jumper. And then we just change it. So I will put the power. Here it goes, and well, it's more or less the same as this one. 
2498. So that is correct. Then we go to the 5. The 5 should be 5.002. As you can see, it's one and a half microvolts off. So that is not that bad. This should be 7497. And here it starts to be already a little bit more off. And the 10 volts should be 10. 0, 0, 1. So it's two, two microvolts. Nah. I don't understand why they didn't measure it with a proper machine that they actually could really have a good value. Uh, let's do some resistance. They have here the 100 ohms. Oh, look at that. But this is just a good resistor. Now it has not too much to do with the voltage reference. They just put SMD resistors there. And, uh, well, I'm now more checking my Kidley, I think, because these are... But their values are a bit low. Because this 100, this, uh, yeah, 10K, I'm just below, they are just above the 1k. I'm a little bit below, and they are above 100 ohms. Here, here we are good. Maybe we measure this one. This one. 100k. They are, yeah. 10k. Well, the resistors are nice. Yeah, I think the Philips was also a bit in the wire. Let's see what they say in the 100. Here is also below. The the HP and the Kidley are both just fractional below, and they are a little bit above. Here yeah, again, just below, and they are above. Exactly one guy, one number ohms. Okay. Well, that was a very quick test. I can be kind of quick about it. The voltage reference itself, this one, feels a lot better and the values match, match a lot better. And uh, this one, just my Kidley just came as it came and the values were exactly the same. And I didn't do any calibration on this one before, the same for the HP. And they are both very equally matched. And they also match with uh, with this calibrator, so I feel a lot more confident with this one than with this one. But I like because this one you probably don't get with the sticker, and this sticker is almost correct. That is the and at least you have some values here, and uh, so. But I like uh, this one a lot better because here also you have the banana plugs you don't have here. But as an extra, and that is kind of cool, is that you have the one ohms resistors also. So, well, and also with precision, this one was around uh, below the millivolts. And this one was about three, three millivolts off. So, uh, yeah. I, so... And this one is around 20 and this one is around 10. So that makes sometimes can make a difference if you want to be cheap. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.